What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Working Line K9 TV. We're going to talk about the difference between the Camelot American Pit Bull Terrier and American Bully Bloodlines today. Camelot Slim Shady was a real American Pit Bull Terrier. His bloodlines consisted of three quarters Jeep and a quarter Red Boy. This is Camelot's the Duke. He was a really big dog, 110 pounds, 26 inch head and a 17 inch wide chest let's take a look into this dog's pedigree his sire was kubar's golden bud kubar's golden bud was not a pit bull he was an american staffordshire terrier his dam was ruth's golden girl making camelot's duke a 50 50 split of american pit bull terrier and american staffordshire terrier this is the same style of breeding that created the notorious Juan Gotti bloodline 50-50 split of American Pit and American Staffordshire Terrier. Collective breeding of American Pit Bull Terrier, American Staffordshire Terrier, and Pit Band Dogs resulted in the evolution of the American Bully breed by selective breeding. Bullier or bulkier dogs. Many other breeds were likely added in. Not every pedigree is authentic, but one thing is for sure, there are beautiful Camelot dogs that have authentic pedigree still out there. Going back into the real Camelot American Pit Bull Terriers, this is Haley Jade's pedigree. She was bred off of Cottingham, which is pure red boy, back to Slim Shady, who was, again, three quarters Jeep and a quarter red boy. When identifying a dog's breed, you must always look at the bloodlines and do your due diligence. Always remember to consider confirmation standard, determining what breed a dog is. This is a real American Pit Bull Terrier. There's a lot of false information on the internet, so don't listen to just anybody. I uh, Camelot lovers, yo, whoever have Camelot, that is not American Pit Bull Terrier, that's not a pit, that is not a pit bull, the lion needs to stop. Yeah. The lion does need to stop. Everything is not a Camelot pit bull, but there are such things as Camelot pit bulls. So do your own research and don't just listen to what you see and what you hear on the internet because there's a lot of morons that put spread a lot of false information out there. Like and subscribe. It's your boy, The Working Lion.